Mona. Looking good. Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. It will be a cold day in hell before I let a narc cop stop me. Miss Sachs, do your job. Relax, Max. You're a nice guy. I don't kill nice guys. You're not bad yourself. It was different when Horn wanted Punchinello dead. To cut her ties to the Mafia, he deserved to die. The same goes with her. She's the bad guy here. Her sister was whispering to her in my favor. I knew the appetites of ghosts intimately. They hungered for revenge. Max! <laughs> no! A gunshot boomed and she fell down in slow motion. She was a nice girl. Not really a stone cold killer. And now she was stone cold dead. Like religious fanatics or loyal samurai, Horn's private army was coming at me. Target located. When the elevator came back down, Mona was gone. There was a lot of blood, but no body. Something clicked for the final time. My mind had never been so clear, as if somewhere high above the storm clouds were already gone, cold stars blazing from the black skies. I had elevator access to the mainframe. From there, I'd be able to override the security locks and get to her office.
The unmarked chopper was Horn's pet guardian, inhuman and flawless. It was stalking me. I'm not a cold-blooded killer. I'm a nice guy. I love my wife. I have two boys. were now offline. All bets were off. The elevator would take me up. The unmarked chopper was Horn's pet guardian, inhuman and flawless. It was stalking me. were now offline. All bets were off. The elevator would take me all the way up. Seen from this height, the night seemed to stretch on to eternity. A hint of desperation had crept into the snowstorm, as if it was trying to get it all out before the end. <laughs> 